Hey, my legion, what's up? I was thinking, uh, well, there's one thing that, <clears throat> between us food reviewers, like, I talked to Trav about this. It's kind of like a little bit of a competition, a little bit of people we don't talk about, a, a friendly competition, at least I hope it's friendly, uh, to try to be the first to review a certain item and stuff. Now, I've been kind of lucky the last two weeks, because I look up on YouTube, and, um, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to review the Sriracha Steak Melt from Subway. I might be wrong, because they're focusing more on the Sriracha Chicken Melt. If I would have gotten the Sriracha Chicken Melt, I would say 50 cents. You know, but I did the Sriracha Steak Melt. I think I was the first person to review that, because when I went in there, <clears throat> November uh, November 1st, I think it started November 1st. Now, I know I'm the first one to review uh, Pringles Pecan Pie Flavored Chips, because I punched up. You know, I went to the the Dollar General, and then he just brought it, had it in, like, it was like second day it was in, you know. And I looked up, I punched in uh, Pecan, Pri Pecan Pie Pringle Review, or Pringle Pecan Pie Review, and nothing came up as, like, stuff on how to make apple pie, how to make different types of pies, and stuff like that. And then I had uploaded my video, and I did it again, and my video was up on top. Now yesterday, last night, I did it, and there's a whole crap load of review. So I think I'm, I think I'm the first one to review it. And I noticed one of uh, the one guy who did review it did like a side by side review. There apparently there's something else called uh, cinnamon and sugar flavored Pringles. I don't know if that'd be good or not, you know. Ugh. But no, Trav and I were talking about that, and it said sometimes food reviewers like to be the first one to review something. It's kind of a challenge, usually because of where I'm situated at. Uh, I'm in a small town, so I like that. Usually, I'm not the first guy to review stuff first. <clears throat> Usually, people like Joey's World Tour or Traveridge, they have, they're in like a place where it's a lot of easy access to a lot of different places and stuff. Especially Joey's World Tour, you know. I'm not gloating or nothing. I'm just saying that, you know, I think I was the first on those two. And I think I'm the first reviewing these because I looked them up. I didn't see anyone else reviewing these. This is something unusual again from my vending machine at work. These are Vidalia brand sweet onion petals. Made with real Vidalia onions. And they're baked. And it says delicious golden baked crunchy snacks. Certified gluten free. And there's uh, a little backstory on the back of this. There's nutritional information. That, that's so small though. You barely read it. You know? Well, no, you read a little bit. That's not that much. But the. Uh, the deal with the Vidali onions it says all onions are not created equal. From their accidentally accidental discovery in the 1930s to their hand planted and hand harvested practices today, sweet Vidali onions are world famous. The South Georgia soil uh, on Bland Farms produces this flavorful, mild, and sweet onion with unmatched taste. You don't have to travel to Georgia to sample the sweet Vidalia onion. We use real Vidalia onions and bake them into a crunchy snack that delivers the true Vidalia flavor experience. Enjoy. And like I said, they're right there from Vidalia brand. Okay. Now, they have, they're, they're branching out a little bit. I know at Walmart there's like uh, these kits with a big onion in it, and you can make your own blooming onion with a, a giant Vidalia onion, and they got like salad dressing and stuff. I've never seen this anywhere. I saw it at the vending machine. I thought I'd buy one. It was 80 cents for a 1.35 ounce bag. I said, I got to try this thing out. So, so I went up and try it out. I could be wrong, but I didn't see anyone else review these. This my, I, they don't really have much of a scent to them. I guess they're like, kind of like that. And the cap hot fries, they got a weird curvy look to them. Yeah. They have a very mild onion taste, not a strong onion taste at all. It's a little sweet, but not too sweet. They're made with cornmeal, soybean, 
uh, oil and a sweet Vidalia onion puree. Puree, I mean puree. Puree. These aren't bad. They're not too bad. They're all right. They're not too bad. They taste, they're real, like a light tasting snack. They're kind of like Funyuns, I guess. Except Funyuns have more of a stronger onion taste. These aren't too bad. I give these about an 8 out of 10. I said they're just oddly shaped. They're not straight. They're curved like that. Huh. I'm just going to... It looks like inside. They're okay. So I give a halfway decent review. These are by eight. They don't taste too bad. Uh, too bad. They're, I mean, nothing really overwhelming, but they're pretty good. You know what I mean? They're eight out of ten. A very mild onion taste. A very understated snack. But uh, kind of a light tasting snack, though. And speaking of the vending machine, I got something else from there. But they're always, that's from the snack portion, because there's four vending machines. There's one for the snacks, and the one for the sandwiches, which I usually hover around, and then the one for coffee, and then the one for pop. There's a very local place out of uh, Albion. Certified Vending Services, uh, Crossing Road, Albion, PA. And they only service, like, uh, Oh, six or seven people, you know. And I, I got this out of my uh, work thing from where it's a little dirty, a little beat up. I, it got a little banged up right there. I put it at the edge of a press, and then it kind of smushed it, smushed it a little bit there, too. But it still works, and it holds like six pops. You know, it's it's a little, a little dirty and beat I got to clean it up a little bit. But I'm a little dirty and beat up, too, you know. And it clicks, you know. But what I was talking about was the chicken salad. <clears throat> and basically, they've been doing things with a different bread. And these are on two croissant rolls. You know, with some uh, lettuce at the bottom. And I got, for breakfast, I bought an uh, egg salad. And it was egg salad on pita bread. And it was delicious. I was going to save it for review, but I was hungry. I said, heck, I'm eating this now. And I did. And it, had, it also came with a piece of lettuce separate from that. It was cut in two halves, and then you could open up and break the lettuce in half and uh, put it in a sandwich, just like this this is right here let me open this up Oops. so afraid I'm going to the money you're going to spill I got to be careful okay Oops. here's a croissant with the chicken salad in it here they good I need to get some good uh, you know they've been doing interesting stuff using different types of bread and stuff like that to try to we imagine a little bit. This was a dollar twenty-five, and there's two of them in here. That's not bad. And here's a piece of lettuce. Came with that, and then you know, break it in half and put one in each half. But I'm gonna do that now. For no, I mean, I like chicken salad, and that egg salad was excellent. You know, let me put this in here. You know, they put a decent amount of chicken salad in here and like I said there's two of them you know in here no I right, said so they make all the sandwiches homemade this is a good flaky croissant a uh, croissant and uh, and you can see like the flakes in there, how flaky it is. And the chicken salad's awesome. It's just um, if you remember, just homemade and stuff like that. It's awesome. Mm. Yeah, that's something good for lunch too. And I just got off. Well, I got off of work about an hour ago. And that crunch from the lettuce helps a lot too. 
So the chicken salad is awesome. And, you know, people have been saying stuff about the vending machines. I'll tell you what, I mean, they're, they're doing a good job. Uh, it's just, uh, they only service like about, they only cater to like seven or eight businesses or something. Like that. They're real small because there's a place in Fairview called Deck Vending Services. They're the main guys. And we used to have them. Well, first we had Dave Davis, who was a local guy who did a bunch of businesses around Albion and around the area and stuff like that. And he was famous for uh, buying stuff for 25 cents and leaving the price tag on it and sell it for 50 cents in the vending machine, you know. And uh, this is back in the 90s when things were a little cheaper. And then we had Deck Vending Services. And they were good. They had something, a great dessert called the Deck Tea Bar. And the guys who, you know, put this out here, they just called it the tea bar. We call it deck tea bar. And it's like, a, I wish I could review it. I mean, you guys would love it. It's like a chocolate chip cookie cake. And it's really good cold. It's excellent. For like a dollar, it was like a dollar, dollar twenty-five or something. It was really good. And you got to be a big piece of it, too. And then, but the problem with them is they kept raising their prices pretty much every three or four months. Then the owner got tired of it, and then we got this new company. Brand new starting out of Albion. And I think they make good sandwiches. And they're trying to just be a little different by changing to having different types of bread. Sometimes there might be ciabatta bread or, like I said, pita bread or flat bread. with really good stuff. So I highly recommend certified vending services, chicken salad. And I do recommend... The Delia brand sweet onion pellets, you'll probably like them. I mean, it's not going to knock your socks off, but they're, they're still pretty good. Not too bad. They're a light tasting snack, so that helps too. So, shout outs to the wonderful Cat W Magic. Uh, I know one of your friends, uh, Per0666, did um, a nice uh, video for you yesterday, and you were very happy with it. And you deserve it. You deserve every nice thing that comes your way. I think you're awesome. I really do. Patrick Barton, he did a really cool video last night about a phone unboxing. I thought it was just phone unboxing. Then <clears throat> it turned into like something with all the food reviewers and the and people on YouTube, but he was showing like videos from YouTube of my, myself and some other people and stuff filming it. It was cool. And I enjoyed the conversation he had with me through the video. You know, it was neat. I liked it. Shout out to him. Shout out to uh, Ella4 TV for being a great person. And oh, Miss Cavalier for being awesome. Very nice. Uh, I got the Munchie Show. Now, there are people that uh, do reviews first, too. They got, they got a lot of crazy stuff. And I give Mr. Dirty Prop for doing that uh, seaweed uh, potato chip review. I mean, I, the packaging was cool. That's probably what brought him to it. But, boy, I, that doesn't look good at all, you know. And for Tim Sands for being real nice. He's got a cold, so he'll be off YouTube for a couple of days, but I hope you get better, buddy. And for making that nice banner for me and Travers, as always, for being really cool and awesome. So, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and until next time, take care of my legion.